In this video, guys, I want to talk about peak original equipment technology coolants. So historically, guys, coolants were fairly simple. Um, just one or two coolants would be used in all vehicles. But as vehicles have moved from cast iron and brass engine metals to aluminum alloys over the years, you've seen this huge array spring up, you know, in the last 20, 25 years of all these different types of coolant. And there's a number of reasons for this. Um, you know, number one, the Asian manufacturers have historically liked coolants with phosphates, whereas the European manufacturers have historically liked coolants with silicon. And there are reasons for that, but kind of beyond the scope of this video. But beyond that, I, I have a more nefarious theory, and that is vehicle manufacturers realized that if they created their own special fluid, fluid, like, you know, Honda has their Type 2 and BMW has their special type of coolant, you know, if they create their own special type of coolant, um, not only can they give what they think is the best for the engine, but of course they can charge much more for it and they can charge, much, charge you much more for um, a drain and fill or radiator flush or anything else that the dealership does. So it becomes a huge profit center for them to have their own type of coolant. Now that's a more nefarious type of view, but be that as it may, what we now have is a wide array of coolants. And so just so you guys know kind of my theory, you know, for years, in the Honda, I would only use the Honda Type 2 fluid. And in the BMW, I would, I would only use the official BMW coolant. And I would just go to the dealership and pay through the nose and just say, well, you know, I don't want to be monkeying around with, you know, possibly using the wrong kind of coolant. And so, but as the years have gone by and my vehicles have gotten older and older and older, I started to be willing to entertain non-OEM fluids. And the real one for me was using the Xerox um, G48 formula in the BMW. That was kind of the first time I started using non-OEM fluid for, you know, radiator flushes or if I had to, if I had some kind of a radiator leak and I had to replace the fluid or just to top it off. You know, I started going with the Xerox G48. And of course the results were just fine. <clears throat> but as the vehicles continue to get older and older, I've, I have started to entertain more and more, you know, using aftermarket fluids. Well, what I've discovered with the peak original equipment technology fluids is that basically they have nine different formulas and they have three for Asian, three for European, and three for domestic. And the interesting thing is, is each three match the color of your OEM fluid. So the idea is that Peak wants to create an OEM quality fluid and they want to have the color color match your current vehicle. So for example, I went and got the Honda original equipment technology fluid and it's blue just like the Honda and it says Honda on the front of it so you know you're using the Honda one. And what they want to do is they wanted to color match and to me that is a very very good idea. In addition there's another thing I really like about the Peak Original Equipment Technology Fluids and that is you can buy them in either the 50-50 pre-diluted or you can buy them in the concentrate form and then you can dilute them however you like with your own jug of distilled water. So if you wanted to do you know 40 percent coolant and 60% distilled water, you know, you could do that or any mix that you feel is appropriate. So I really do like that. You can buy it. I bought it in 50-50, but you can also buy it in, um, in the concentrated form. If you look around on like Bob's the Oil Guy and some of these other sites, there is a rumor that a company called CCI in Illinois makes, who makes Japanese OEM coolants um, and also makes Xerox um, Asian, that basically, which you could buy for $12 at Walmart, by the way, um, at least currently, they are now, there's speculation that CCI is basically 
making Peak's Asian vehicle formula in the same batch that they're making their Xerox Asian formula. So just be aware of that. I do not know if that's true. That may be completely untrue, but this basically costs, the list or the, the common price on this, and this is from uh, auto, advanced auto parts, you know, $17.99 for a one gallon 50-50. So you can see if it's $12 at, or you know, $12.99 or whatever the price is, if it's less at Walmart and it's the same product, you know, then you're tempted to obviously go and, and get it there instead. But again, I don't know if that's true. That's just a rumor. Um, but the bottom line is, guys, is this is actually not a bad deal. If you have an older car, it's out of warranty, okay? And you can get this with a special coupon deal. Sometimes you can get like a, you know, 25% off your first order kind of thing through Advanced Auto Parts or, you know, whoever, whoever carries this. You know, if that knocks the price down to, you know, 13, 14 bucks, you know, that's better than going into the dealership and paying, you know, $26, $27 for a jug of coolant. So, and, and, and if you believe that Peak is manufacturing this to OEM levels, which I have no reason to think that they're not actually, then, you know, this is something that you could probably go ahead and get and go ahead and try for your older vehicle. So anyway, guys, I just wanted, wanted to share my thoughts on Peak Original Equipment Technology Fluids. Um, overall, I think it's a fairly good deal if your vehicle is an older vehicle. And I hope you guys are doing well and appreciate you guys a whole lot. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Take care.